What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here today with episode 133. The last episode was such a like high and then low and then high and then a disasterific low right at the end of it where I thought that they had taken them out and that's not the case. They doubled their ranks. There's six of them now. I'm scared because Jiraiya openly said that he doesn't believe he's strong enough to take them all out. So, I don't know, like, I don't know. I'm scared, I'm hoping for the best. I reckon Jiraiya's gonna pull something out of his butt. So, oh my god. Don't forget to hit me up over on my social media and my Instagram and Twitter are below. Okay. 133, let's do it. I'm never gonna look at rain the same, am I? I love the rain. It's my thing, but... Hmm. There's no end to this awful rain. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Tsunade. You know, I'm grateful to you. He's not coming back. Excuse me? That's what I bet him before he left. Because he knows I never win any of my bets. Okay. <laughs> funny, funny. Do you think that Tsunade was ever really romantically in love with Jiraiya? Always trying to be cool. Well, when he gets back, I won't let him keep his cool anymore. <gasps> well, I think that answered that question. Maybe you should have given him a kiss before he went, though. Pain. That is a designation that refers to the six of us as a group. <gasps> I told you! Is that you, Yahiko? Ah, oh, yes. There was such a fellow once, wasn't there? But he died a long time ago. I told you! You said that Yahiko died, and those eyes! You see Yahiko's image when you look at me. You really are his former teacher. Look, just quit the wordplay. Tell me why you possess the Rinnegan. What are you talking about, Jiraiya boy? One of my former students is now among the six. But he didn't possess eyes like that back when I taught him. I don't know, I'm so confused. I said to you guys it looked like the orange-haired boy. Come to think of it, upon closer inspection, none of those six really remind me of Nagato all that much. Exactly! On the other hand, one of them does resemble Yahiko. But he possesses Nagato's Rinnegan. So what the hell happened? So just what exactly are you? We are pain, that's all. Oh my god, your wordplay is freaking irritating. Jiraiya boy, just retreat. Oh yeah, let's just run away from six guys. As if they're gonna let me. Oh god. <laughs> Yahiko. How is it possible you possess Nagato's eyes? Lad, just give up already! I must find a way to defeat them even if I die. No! No, don't! Just go! There's no way. They're like a brand new Akatsuki in themselves! Oh! I don't sense his presence. Ooh, nice. Rasengan! Come on, yes! Aha! Nice to see the Rasengan actually doing what it's supposed to. So that's one of them gone, hopefully. Oh, piss off! I barely managed to kill one, and only after dragging him into my barrier. Are you alright, lad? Uh, yeah, kinda. God! No! There. Their identity is a complete mystery, and they seem to use odd weapons, too. A face. There's no mistaking it. He's Yahiko. So then how does he have the eyes? 
Did Yahiko, for some reason, steal them from Nagato? But even if he did, there are those other Rinnegan bearers as well. So what is going on here? That's what makes us human. I don't... What do you mean? See, he always wanted to help people. He never wanted to hurt people, which makes me wonder if Pain stole his eyes. Pain forced me to grow up. What is that mark on his... In which case, does that mean he's Nagato after all? <gasps> what?! No! This man in front of us. I've also battled him once before. It was a random shinobi! I gave him that scar on his forehead. So why is such a fella here in this place then? Now I'm more confused than ever. I know, I'm sitting here like, what? In order to make the correct choice. What does he mean by a critical selection? Life and death? The world and also writing books. It can't be. If this is the prophecy. I want to go back and face them in order to confirm a suspicion of mine. But the two of you need to go home. No. Now. What's that? Absolutely not. You'll be killed if you go back there. Just leave. But I also may be able to deduce our enemy's true identity. If I let this chance slip by, I don't think there's anyone else who could get as close to pain. This is our only chance to uncover the truth. Plus, this is the time for selection that the great Lord Elder prophesized for me. Boss, you and Ma, please take back the intel on pain we've gathered so far. Please tell Tsunade I... Don't even go there. Don't even go there. No. Thank you. No. So much. No. Has he lost his other arm? I feel like it's completely gone. That's mental! They're so good! No. It's just as I thought. They're all shinobi I've encountered before in my journeys. Uh, why? Then why? Why are they with him? It doesn't make any sense. That's it. I've figured out who Pain is. <gasps> no! My throat. Here I am, boy. You figured it out too late. That's a clone, right? It's <laughs> no good. My throat was crushed by that attack. Damn it. At this rate, I'm passing out. No! Am I really going to die now? No! Have I failed? No! <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> In the shinobi world, it's not how you live. It's how you die. A shinobi's life is not measured by how they live. But rather, it's measured by what they manage to accomplish before their death. My life has really been full of nothing but failure. Continually rejected by Tsunade. Unable to stop my friend. <laughs> and unable to protect either my student or my mentor. My actions are trifling, insignificant things indeed. I just don't understand what's the point. What's the point? Did he fail? And mistakes are an important part of the plot too. I've lived my life always believing that the lessons I learned are what honed me. I swore I'd accomplish a deed so great that it would obliterate all my failures. <laughs> My tale ending like this. The great Lord Elder prophesied that I would be the one to guide a revolution. A person who will make a great choice that will bring either peace or destruction. I thought I would defeat pain, stop the Akatsuki, and save the world from destruction. But in the end, I failed that too. <laughs> How pitiful. 
How sad that this will be the ending twist to the tale of Jariah the Gallant. I don't believe that at all. I think that this tale is wonderful. Every chapter reads like one of the numerous legendary exploits you told me about. It's like it's almost autobiographical. Yeah? You think so? So did... So, did... <laughs> I was thinking. Hmm? I really hope my soon-to-be-born child can become an amazing shinobi just like the main character in your book. Are you sure about this? I mean, I randomly came up with it while eating ramen. Naruto. I think it's a wonderful name. That's not how it was supposed to go. I gave that child. Someday I'm gonna be a Hokage and you'll look up to me. My name's Naruto Uzumaki. Remember it. Now that I think about it, you're just like that novel's main character. You've inherited Minato and Kushina's wishes, their hopes, and yet, and yet I. A real ninja is one who endures no matter what gets thrown at him. Let me explain something to you. There's only one thing that matters if you're a shinobi. All you do need is the guts to never give up. And never giving up despite what the odds may tell you to do. Naruto, if that is truly your ninja way, then as your teacher, I have no business at all whining. Right, Naruto? Isn't that so? He fought his way back by sheer will alone? Jiraiya boy! No, don't. <laughs> Just let him I go. I was certain that his heart had stopped. Just let him go. Just let him... <laughs> Never give up. No matter what. That was the true choice that I was supposed to make. Obstinate, isn't he? Let's finish him. No! <laughs> message received. A dying message. He wrote it in code. Naruto, you are the child of prophecy. I'm sure of it now. I leave the rest to you. <laughs> frog. The frog got away. The tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Well, now it'll end a bit better, I hope. The final chapter. I'll call it Frog at the bottom of the well drifts off into the great ocean. Now, I suppose it's about time I put down my pen. Oh, that's right. What should I name the sequel? I wonder. Let's see. The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. Huh. Yes, that has a nice ring to it. Oh my god! <laughs> she knows, doesn't she? She knows. Now the frog is gone. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't, like, I can't even get words together. I just feel like my heart is broken. I just uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.